En 1996, le Dr Calvin Gutkin est devenu directeur général et chef de direction au Collège des médecins de famille du Canada. Depuis, Carl a mis toutes ses connaissances, son expérience, sa passion au service du Collège afin de mieux répondre aux besoins changeants des médecins de famille et de leurs patients, et ce, partout au Canada. À la fin de l'année, nous allons saluer Carl au moment de sa retraite. J'ai eu le privilège de travailler avec Carl pendant plusieurs années. Je suis certaine que son leadership, sa passion, son amitié et oui, même ses talents de chanteur nous manqueront. During his time with the CFPC, Carl oversaw the evolution and elevation of both the college itself and the discipline of family medicine. It was under his guidance that family medicine came to be recognized as a specialty in Canada. During his tenure, the number of college members, as well as the number of staff, more than doubled. Cal established Family Medicine Forum, which quickly became Canada's premier family medicine conference. Cal enhanced advocacy activities in the college and strengthened the value of family physicians across the country. Avant son départ, nous avons discuté avec Cal des années qu'il a passées comme chef à la direction du collège. Nous vous proposons une série en quatre épisodes qui relate les défis qu'il a affrontés, ses réalisations et quelques détails sur ses projets d'avenir. Please stay tuned for part one of Conversations with Cal in the beginning, part two of Conversations with Cal, Reaching the Milestones, part three of Conversations with Cal, The Challenges We Face, and part four of Conversations with Cal, The Next Chapter. Enjoy. Cal, you're retiring from your position as Executive Director and CEO of the College of Family Physicians of Canada. You've been so closely tied to this organization for so long that you've really come to embody the college and its role in the discipline of family medicine in Canada. How does it feel to leave this position? Well, I'm sad to leave it uh, because it's been such a privilege to be in this position and to be able to be part of what's happening in healthcare and in family medicine in Canada and to be able to work with such incredible people, the staff of this college, the members of this college, those who've, been, uh, who've assumed leadership positions on committees, on our board, and, and those who have been elected to the top leadership offices on our executive and ultimately to serve as presidents of our college chairs of our board. Uh, that has been something very special for me, for my wife, for my family. We've gotten to know their families. The chance to interact with the leaders in other organizations and in, in healthcare across Canada, incredible people that I otherwise would not have had the privilege to likely be interacting with as I, as I have had. And I'm going to miss that uh, unless something comes along that uh, probably in a less intense way but that I can still be involved and I think I'd be interested. Uh, but that's going to be something I would miss. But, it, but I have no regrets because I feel so privileged to have had this position and to have had the uh, opportunity to experience what I have over the last uh, 16 to 17 years. So what's next for you, Cal? How will you spend your time? I do have other interests as well, and I'd like to be able to spend some time with my wife, my family, my friends, that, uh, that uh, basically perhaps I haven't had the time to uh, focus on for the last while. I enjoy writing a lot, and I'd like to be able to write. I have uh, played around with starting you know, not some, some fictional novels and uh, other things like that. I love music in terms of as a, uh, an appreciator of it, not necessarily as a musician, that's for sure. Uh, and I love sports, and I, uh, I like to partake in what I can, but I'm also an avid fan of many things, and I haven't had time to enjoy all that the way I would like to. We like to travel, so I'd like to do a little bit more of that in the coming years. I'm excited about the opportunity to do a few other things that I usually you know, get started at and uh, just play around the edges with, things, as I mentioned before, that I might be interested in doing personally. Uh, that I hopefully will have more time for and for those close to me that I hopefully will have more time for. And I'm also looking forward to maybe some other opportunities that come along that I haven't even uh, 
thought about yet in terms of uh, what they could be. So I think there, there always have to be some things that are a little bit unknown that can be challenges. Challenge is very important. It's very important to me. And if I'm not challenged, I'm, I will tell you I'm not happy. Uh, I believe in, uh, in taking on positions like this that uh, you have to be excited about challenge and you have to be passionate about what you do. And I won't deny, and at times it's probably been over the top and maybe not seen by everyone as always positive, but uh, I have felt passionate about it. And, uh, and I think I was almost waiting to see if I would lose that passion because I would know that that's definitely the signal that it's time to step aside. Uh, that's not the reason that I feel it's appropriate to step aside because I still have the passion and I hope that whatever I can do uh, next in my life that I will feel that way about that. What have you learned during your time here at the college? What can you take with you? Well, I think one of the things that I've learned and, and uh, from what I've heard from other leaders in the college who've been here is we certainly learned a lot about values. Values in life in general, what people value the most in terms of their personal lives, how those of us who are involved in healthcare have to keep that as the constant reminder for us when we're looking at trying to define what we think are the priorities. The priorities we have as healthcare professionals, as physicians, as family physicians, have to be the same priorities as the people that we are serving, the patients that we have. And I think most family doctors understand that very well. I've learned that family medicine and family physicians actually are uh, well versed and understand and they themselves value what patients value. You also learn about uh, the value of the other people you work with. And, uh, and you know, you may, have, you may come into positions like this knowing how important teams are, teams of other leaders, teams of others who work with you as the support for the work in the organization, the support in the whole system. You can't get anywhere in terms of achieving even what may be your personal goals unless you have a team. And this college can be proud of the fact it has a very strong team, a very strong staff team, a very strong volunteer team of members who give their time and, and personal effort uh, and contribute their skills to uh, the best interests of the health care of the population through what we're doing in family medicine. So you learn a lot about that when you're in a position like this, and I'm grateful for having that opportunity. And what advice do you have for the people you're leaving behind? For the staff, the committee members, the members of the college, and also for your successor? Well, I think it's, it's important for everyone to realize, and certainly the staff here will have 140 staff carrying on, uh, we've talked about this from time to time with staff, and it's hard for people to appreciate it, but everybody's important. The work that everyone does, not everyone can be looking at the big picture. There are some of the leaders, and in this office, uh, one has to do that, and others do. Every, not everyone can look at that every day. They see their little piece, and often they don't appreciate how important that is. It's very important, and we're all part of a, a bigger picture and contributing to it. That jigsaw puzzle cannot have a bunch of holes in it or it'll never deliver as something complete. So I think everyone has to remember that. I think everybody has to keep their eye on the target. I think leaders have to keep their eyes on the target. It's so easy to be led off the path because of some barriers, some bumps, some oppositions to positions that you are trying to, to take and goals that you aspire towards. It's not easy to get there. You may have a vision, it's not going to happen right away. You have to have patience and you also have to keep your eye on that target. If you lose that, you're, you're going to end up losing your way totally. So I think that's, that's very important. Uh, but I think that uh, people in this college should maintain uh, the commitment to the principles of family medicine, to the values of family medicine, uh, because they are solid. They are in keeping with the social accountability we should have as an organization and as family physicians, uh, and be proud of it. Uh, and I think fight the fight, but remember it's not all about a fight. It's all about actually trying to do the best you can to serve the population that uh, is out there, that we are part of, that our own families, our own friends are part of, but that must, we must meet the needs of the entire population of this country. So what will you miss the most about the college? I'll probably miss my uh, daily tuna sandwich 
but uh, next to that, I'm going to miss the people. Uh, the, uh, and hopefully I won't, uh, it won't be such that I never have a chance to interact with them, but on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, the interactions we have, the, my interaction with the staff that I work with, my interaction with the leaders of this college, uh, the role of the CEO, executive director, is very close with the executive of the college and with the presidents. Each president that goes through, it's a very uh, intense year that they are that they fulfill as president and very close interaction with the executive director and CEO. Uh, the uh, opportunity to uh, to work with each of the presidents that I've had has been extraordinary. Uh, the opportunity to meet the people across the country, all of the chapters and the chapter leaders have been incredible, the members, uh, the joy of going out to all of the chapter meetings and, and interacting with, uh, with those that are involved in the chapters and seeing chapters get stronger over the years and hopefully that's going to continue. I mean, that's, those are things that I highly value and I'm going to miss. It sounds like your retirement is going to be an adventure, Cal. We wish you all the best. Thank you very much.